instinct over intellect every single time, every time. As a math channel, that's kind of a strange thing to say. We are a community of thinkers, problem solvers, people who study math and physics tend to think a lot about the decisions they make because they are trained to think. When you are working on a math problem or you're doing physics or anything else hard, engineering, computer science, you think carefully because you have to, because it's hard. And so we tend to rely on intellect, which is key, but you should trust your instincts. I get a lot of emails from people all over the world. Sometimes they watch my videos and sometimes they're filled with hope. Sometimes they're filled with regrets of things they should have done in the past. And this video is really for them and for anyone else out there in the world watching this. If you are trying to make a decision in your life as to what you want to do with your life, trust your instincts. Your instincts might not be 100% correct, but if you have a really good feeling about something, maybe you should pursue it, right? Take action. Take a tiny step towards accomplishing that goal. And if you have a bad feeling about something, avoid it. Stay away. You don't want anything negative in your life. You want to push out negativity. It's not good. Instinct over intellect every single time. It's life's golden rule. You know, you can analyze things and look at all the facts, and sometimes it makes sense. But if it doesn't feel right, there's probably something there. And a lot of times, it doesn't matter how smart you are, you can't really pinpoint it. You know, when you, when you want something to work, when you want something to make sense, you rationalize it. We're really good at that. We're really good at making things make sense that don't make sense. Human beings are smart, right? They're very, very smart. All humans are smart. Even if you feel like you're not, you are. Your, your, your intellect is much higher than, you know, a wild deer in the forest. I've seen a lot of animals and they, they don't have the capacity for complex thought that we have. It's an obvious statement, but when you, when you see them, when you see the wild animals and when you're close to them, you start to wonder about these things, you know? We do have great power, but with that power comes great responsibility over our own minds. And so trust your instincts. So if you watch a video on the internet and it really resonates with you and you think, oh, maybe I should, maybe I should study math. Try it, right? Jump into mathematics. Trust your instincts. If you're looking at things and you're thinking, oh, I should, have, I should have been a computer programmer and you're having those regrets. Learn to code in C, learn to code in Python. Take that step, take that step. Action is the one thing you can do to take control of your life. It's the one thing that can bring results. Right? There, there's nothing else in this world that can change your life. I mean, you, you can wait for things to happen, but if you want to change your life, you have to take action. And so if your instincts are telling you that this is something you should be doing, whatever it is, mathematics, physics, getting a job, whatever it is, whatever you're going through in life, whatever you want to do, if your instincts tell you, do this thing or avoid this thing, then take a small step today towards accomplishing that goal. Take action. I think action is so important that I wrote an entire book on it. I wrote an entire book on how to take action because that's the one thing that human beings can do to change their lives. There's, there's nothing else you can do, right? Think about it. If you wanna learn mathematics, you actually have to do mathematics. You take action. If you want to get in shape, you have to take the steps to get in shape. You have to eat well, 
you have to exercise, you have to rest, you have to take action. If you want to get a better job, you have to apply. You have to apply. Doesn't matter what you're trying to do in the world, action is where it's at. And so if your instincts are telling you that you should be doing something, then that's probably a good sign. Trust your instincts, okay? Trust your instincts. Here's the book I wrote, I'll mention it quickly, called Real Superpowers That Will Change Your Life. And it's all about, it's all about taking action. I wrote a bunch of math books too. All, all the links are in the description. But key takeaway from this video should be that you should trust your instincts, okay? Instinct over intellect every single time. I mean, I'm not saying don't think and do dumb things, <laughs> right? Continue to think, but when you have a strong feeling about something, take action, take action. And, and you know, this video was really inspired by a few emails I was reading this morning. I woke up this morning, uh, I had my coffee, and I started reading some emails that I received. I received a lot of emails. And a lot of the emails had the same theme. It was people who had watched a video of mine, some, some video I made maybe a year ago or two years ago, and they were talking about the video. I was like, oh, wow. And they were saying how, you know, they've, they're at a point in their lives where they feel like they didn't really do what they wanted to do, and they want to go back and change that. And, and you can't go back and change the past. Right? You can't. You can't do that. But you can learn from the past because you can learn from your mistakes. And so you can apply that knowledge to the present because the present is the only place that you can take action in. And that's actually in the book. <laughs> there's, a whole, there's a whole superpower. I call it the power of now, right? The present is where you can take that action. So trust your instincts, my friend. Trust your instincts. I hope it's been helpful. Stay strong, my friends.